Okay, welcome to lesson three. Uh, today we will talk about two major concepts. They are fairly easy. Um, yeah, fairly easy, I would say that. Uh, so I'm going to break this down into two different videos. Uh, the first video will focus on uh, the step function, as you can see in front of you. And then the second video will focus on piecewise function. So I promise you, they are really, really simple. Okay. Um, yeah, really, really simple. Okay. So uh, let's get started with step function. Now let's talk about the symbol because uh, we have a new symbol right here that uh, you probably have never seen before. This is like you can see the bracket with the extra uh, vertical stroke uh, inside the bracket. That is what we uh, use for step function. Okay, now, uh, if you use any uh, kind of uh, graphing uh, applications, uh, such as uh, Desmos, you may not see this, uh, you may not see this uh, from the, um, uh, you may not see this from, uh, from the, uh, from the function, it's uh, from the calculator or the app itself, because uh, it is called the, uh, the floor function. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So uh, it's y equals, and then go to function, miscellaneous, and right here, the floor function right here. So we put an x right here and close, and let's go ahead and take a look. So you can see like a little staircase right there. That's what we call a step function. Okay, so that's what we will see uh, later on uh, in the, when we do the graphing. So we kind of build your expectation. So, uh, so again, uh, if you have to use decimals to graph, then you know what it is. It's called floor function. Okay, so let's get back to our step function right here. Now, what does it mean by step function? Well, I mean, the name is kind of explaining itself pretty well. Uh, step function, uh, it means that it is uh, like little steps, okay? Now, when you walk stairs, okay, when you walk stairs uh, in a staircase, uh, well, you can have one step, two steps, three steps, but you can't really have one and a half step, okay? You can't really have that. So for example, if you raise your foot, let's say you raise your right foot uh, all the way to, let's say, uh, let me make it thinner. Uh, so let's just say you uh, raise your feet, uh, right foot all the way to two and a half step high. And then you're gonna step, you're gonna plant your foot on the stair. Well, which stair are you stepping on? Which step are you stepping on? Is it the second step on the staircase or the third step in the staircase? So again, let me draw a picture. Let's say this is the first step, okay, second step and third step. So if you raise your foot, okay, I'm gonna draw a little uh, foot right here. Let me see uh, what color I can use. Um, let's say uh, this color. So you have your foot, okay, right here. Okay, two and a half steps high. And you plant your foot down. Well, which step are you stepping on? Well, you're stepping on the second step, right? So that's how we will characterize our step function, which is that it always goes to the previous integer, okay? It always goes to the previous integer, right? So keep that in mind, previous, okay? Now it gets easier if you think about a number line, okay, it really helps uh, clearing up some uh, confusion. So let's just say I'm going to have a number line right here and then negative one, negative two, and negative three. So we would say, oh, where is uh, 2.5? Well, 2.5, it's right here. And then it goes to the left, the previous integer, okay? so really straightforward. So let me give you one other example or a couple other examples to, uh, to see if you really understand what's going on. So if I say to you, what is the uh, step function of 
0.9. Okay, so take a moment, say five seconds. What's your answer? The answer would be one. All right, the answer will be one. Now, so that's pretty straightforward. We say, oh yeah, just go ahead and uh, move this to 1.9 right here. And then uh, what is the previous integer? Well, you just point to the left, okay? You can raise your hand or use your finger to point, all right? So move to the left. What's the previous integer? That's one. Now, so, um, so it gets a little bit more challenging for the next example. What if I give you this negative 0.1, all right? What is the answer for the step function of negative 0.1? All right, so now if you are somewhat confused, you can use the number line to check it. So let me go ahead and move the red arrow. So negative 0.1 is right here. What is the previous integer we say? Okay, well, the answer is negative one. Now, what we see a lot is that uh, a lot of students, they tend to make mistakes, careless, of course, uh, uh, when we uh, have to deal with some negative numbers. It's, uh, it's somewhat uh, challenging, okay, in that case. Uh, so we say, yeah, just to make sure that you, uh, if you find yourself uh, being uh, confused, uh, you will go ahead and think of a number line to verify yourself. Okay, so uh, your number line, it's your best friend right here. Now, uh, well, I'm gonna be very honest with you here that uh, in our course, in this uh, pre-calculus course, uh, we won't see step function a lot. So uh, I'm gonna say that it's more like a show and tell that uh, we wanna show you that, hey, there's something called the uh, step function in the world. So let's go ahead and take a look. See, that's wonderful. Now you may ask, do we use it in real world? And we say, yeah, sort of. Yeah, we do actually. Like for example, I'm a teacher, right? And uh, teachers get paid based on our years of experience. Okay, uh, years of experience um, uh, that I have served in a school. So I've taught for 10 years, so I get a specific salary. And uh, if, uh, if I, let's just say I work half a year and then I quit mid year in the school year, what would, and, I re, and I rejoin the uh, school to teach again, well, uh, I may have 10 and a half years of experience, but I will still get paid for only 10 years of uh, like 10 years, uh, based on 10 years of experience. So that's what we call, uh, like that's exactly a step function. Okay, that's really uh, a real life application of a step function. Okay, uh, so, all right. Now, so how do we do that? Well, again, uh, I'll, uh, let's look at the graph. So you saw the graph earlier on Desmos. So we're gonna do the same graph again, but this time I wanna make sure that you're understanding how the graph is a reflection of the values that we have with the step function. So now, uh, oh, by the way, that's one more example I want to show you. And we say, well, what if, what if I have an integer? Well, if your foot is already three steps high and you plant your foot, well, then you plant your foot on the third step. Okay, not going back to the previous, that would be strange. <laughs> that would be very strange if you, uh, if you raise your foot three step high and then you plant it and you are not gonna go back to the second step, okay? This is your third step, okay? So that's the way you think about it. So uh, because of that, let's just start with the graph from, uh, from zero. So we say, oh, zero, it is zero. What about 0 0.5? Well, still going back to the previous integer, so zero. So that's how we say, oh yeah. So um, uh, so so we have the uh, well. Let me uh, make it a little bit thinner because uh, we're going to do some circling. Uh, so uh, we have this, but then we will also draw an open circle right here at one because when it's one, for the x value, it jumps to one for the y value. 
and then 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4, still one for the y value because uh, still, still it's the same step. And then when it hits two, it's an open circle again because it now jumps to y value of two. So, uh, so we basically just repeat the same process over and over again. And to save some time, because I don't want you to just watching me join these lines and circles. So we say, all right, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this again. So I'm going to say, yeah, just like this. This is how we do our step function. Just like the one shown uh, on uh, decimal here. Decimals. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Now, now, what may not be very straightforward is the domain and range. So now I'm going to give you a moment to uh, try it out, uh, to write out the domain and range. Okay, so you can pause this video, give yourself a shot. Okay, so uh, I would say, to, to, even if you have no clue, I would say uh, give yourself a shot, just try it. It doesn't hurt you. Okay, so you can pause the video, try it. Okay. All right, so let's just say I uh, finish your uh, guessing or, your, or you actually know what it is. So what's a domain? So again, domain is the possible X value. So we can ask, well, can X be uh, everything on the X axis? Or is there any kind of uh, X values that we have to exclude, we ask. We say, well, if you take a look at it, yeah, we have some open circles, but right up there, you see a closed circle. So so it actually covers all X values. So we say, oh yeah. So uh, if I use an interval notation, we'll say it is from uh, negative infinity to infinity. Okay. So uh, it's going from negative infinity to infinity. Now, what about the range? Now, many students tend to be uh, somewhat challenged by the range. Um, so many students may put down this as the answer. However, this is not correct. Okay, this is not correct. So I'm gonna quickly put a little cross right here. So it's not correct, okay? Now, why not? Okay, you may be thinking like, well, I thought it goes up and down, right? It covers all the uh, Y values, doesn't it? Well, if you look carefully, does it cover all Y values? All, like all. And we say, well, not really. Not really, because it only covers the integers. You don't see any uh, values for like 1.5, 1.4, 2.5, or negative 2.2. No, only integers, only integers. So we say, yeah, to, uh, to describe its domain, let's use the integer symbol, okay? Which uh, you may have seen before back in geometry, but well, let's see. Have you seen this before? This is the uh, the integer symbol symbol for uh, for integers. Let me make the Z a little bit more fancy. All right. So that is the symbol for integers. Just integers. Okay. Just integers. Okay. Now again, this is about the original function. That's just the integers. Okay. Now, so uh, for example one, let's take a quick moment. All right, to uh, do uh, this example one, see uh, how good you are in terms of practicing. And I would say just a little warning, the negative numbers, just be careful, just be careful. All right, so I'll go ahead, pause this video and uh, take a look at it. Okay, take a look at it. Okay, so let's just uh, assume that you have all the numbers filled out. Uh, if you did everything correctly, you might realize something pretty special. And that is, well, that's zero, that's one, that's two, that's negative one, that's negative two. We talked about how if it is uh, already an integer, then the step function of an integer is just the integer, okay? Nothing changed. Well, what about step function of, uh, of uh, point three? Previous integer, zero. Okay, down below, what's the uh, step function of 0 0.7? Also zero, okay? Ooh, three zeros in a row, okay? Well, what about f of uh, 1.2? It is one, the previous integer. Again, if you need some help, go ahead, use these, uh, use the number line here to uh, aid your, your thinking. 
Okay, so this is one, ooh, three ones in a row. So if you do everything correctly, uh, well, we kind of designed this worksheet to be uh, somewhat matched up. <laughs> All right, so uh, make sure that you understand uh, how we come, how we come up with these uh, answers. It's always about the number, okay? It's, uh, if it's a fraction or a decimal number, it goes toward the previous, the integer to the left of it, okay? Now, what about uh, example two? Well, so we're saying that, hey, X is 0.4. Now, make sure you do your notation well. So we are going to substitute 0.4 into X. That's what it's saying, all right? This is telling us that, hey, this is your new X value. This is uh, 0.4. Now, some students may get a little bit, a little bit too excited and think that, uh, that you have to do the uh, step function of 0.4. No, 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 that's not what it means. The notation indicates that the X value is 0.4. We have the step function of this thing right here. This is what we're going to evaluate. So we say, oh, yes. Okay, so we have uh, 0.8 plus 1. And then we have the step function of 1.8. And that is equal to 1. Okay, so make sure you know what the notation is telling us. Okay, it's telling us that the x is 0.4. So we simply substitute with parentheses, by the way, substitute, and then just carry on with the calculation. Okay, what about 3.2? We say, oh, 3.2, it is two times 3.2, that's the X value, plus one right there. And uh, we have the step function of 6.4 plus one, which is uh, the step function of, 7.4, and that's equal to seven, okay? That's equal to seven. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now, so I'm gonna go very quickly for uh, these two graphs uh, because uh, they are pretty straightforward. Um, now, you may make a table to draw, these, uh, to draw this graph, uh, these two graphs, or what you can do is to interpret, like. Oh, we have a plus one inside the step function. What does it mean? Well, if you remember what it means, it means it shifts to the left for one unit. So that means, uh, well, originally it's like this, right? But because of the shift, it goes to the left. Okay, now if you uh, don't trust yourself, you can, be, uh, you can question yourself to see whether it's right or wrong. Well, then you can say, well, let me test. What if uh, my X value is like po negative 0.2? Negative 0.2, okay? What would that be? Well, negative 0.2 plus one, it's uh, uh, 0.8. What's the previous number of 0 0.8? Previous integer of 0.8? Zero, that's why you have zero here. And then we just keep going, okay? These are the steps. And we'll keep going. Okay. And I'm going to be lazy to uh, duplicate and uh, like this. So that's our modify. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Hold on. I meant to do this. Sorry. Yep. So that's the, uh, the step function. Okay. Shift it left for one unit. What about the graph on the right? Well, this is adding one. Outside the function, that means it is shifting up one unit. Shifting up one unit. So what does that mean? Well, originally it was like this. And now, oops, hold on. It's now up one unit. So we just say, oh, okay, no problem. We can just draw it right here. Just draw the steps. Okay, make sure you close uh, this, make sure you draw the closed circle really dark. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and move it right here. So that's a transformation right here. Okay, 
So that's it. That's the step function. Now, when we talk about the next uh, uh, next part of the lesson, we will have a piecewise function. You will see some of the step function, and we will talk about uh, some other functions too. So, uh, so uh, well, let's go ahead, uh, take a short break, and then we'll come back before the next video uh, on the piecewise function. All right.